Her story is a cool game. Flyer and Journey and Gone Home are cool games. Dear Esther, Mountain and Proteus are also good games. They aren't the kind of titles I'd go out of my way to play every day, but you know what? Neither is The Witcher 3 or Arkham Knight or Skyrim. Dear Esther and Her Story and the like aren't games designed to challenge your reaction times, and they won't give your controller a thorough workout. They're meant to be a little different. And all these stories we've been telling each other, just that. Stories. I find it so weird that every time a title that experiments even just a little bit with the traditional gaming format comes along, there are people that so desperately need to reclassify it. Patrolling these make-believe borders of gaming genres and monitoring which games can call themselves such and which ones can't. It's not a game, it's an interactive drama. Well, they're the same thing. These arguments are about as useful as debating whether soup is a food or a drink. What's the point? <laughs> But you know, it's not all that surprising. We're going through a very dramatic time for games. The industry as we know it is currently in the throes of a huge cultural shift. Crowdfunded platforms like Kickstarter and Indiegogo mean one-person teams can create games without having to worry about whether there's even an audience out there for the idea they have in mind. They already know there is because those people have put their money forward to play the finished product. And thanks to these smaller platforms, they don't have to go through a publisher and don't have to charge huge set amounts. Games that need to be shorter or more minimal are. And if a game is only an hour or so long, its pricing will more than likely reflect that. If not, online gaming communities are so vocal now that people will soon know if a game isn't considered a good deal, and they simply won't buy it as a result. I mean, clearly it's murder. But what does all this mean for more traditional gaming games? The kind that we grew up playing? Well, nothing. They'll keep making money because of course people still want to play them, except now they don't have quite the same monopoly that they once did. And when businesses have a bit of friendly competition going, it's the people who buy the games and vote with their wallets that will end up profiting. Companies can't and won't get away with charging six pounds for an hour-long piece of cut-and-paste DLC content when games like Her Story offer a more interesting experience for a lower price. But the bottom line is, what does it really matter? Whether you think of them as games or not, it's just a question of semantics. And if simple, ponderous games like Proteus and Journey, which have no fail state and don't require lightning-quick reactions, can get people who wouldn't normally be interested in games to have a go, that's great. But it's understandable that these debates exist when you consider the fact that gaming is still used as a catch-all for an industry that is no longer a niche interest. People who watch films aren't expected to like all films. People who read books would struggle to read all the books. And yet all games are still held to a lot of the same standards. You don't have to like or play all games, but the fact that there are so many different kinds out there to choose from can only be a good thing, right? So shall we introduce ourselves? Uh, I'll start over here. Uh, Rossini? <laughs> what, me? Yeah, hi. Yes, right. that's me. Hello. <laughs> okay, so that's Ether. Clurt is... I'm just going to yes. lurk behind. That's obviously Bertie. And over here we've got Strobelight, which is my favourite name in the group so far. Uh, Hello. John Bedford. John. And Ollie Welsh over here. The Torrin Monk. Nice, that's very good. Okay, so quick question before we start. Does anyone regret the names they once picked in World of Warcraft? When is the last time that everybody played this game? <laughs> A long time ago. Yeah, okay, I think uh, Ollie and I are both level 100, right? So yeah. we've, we've, although we've all been scaled for this dungeon, we should probably point out, which is kind of cool. That's part of the, we're doing something called time walking, 